everyone, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint with embossing powder. So let's get started. All right, for this technique, you're gonna need a few colors of embossing powder, an embossing ink pad, a stamp, and a heat tool. And to begin, I'm going to ink up our stamp and I'm using a background stamp for this technique because I think that's a good choice if the way that we're going to be painting with the embossing powder. So another thing, you wanna make sure your ink pad is pretty juicy because it's, it's better to have a lot of ink for this technique. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. I'll put a piece of paper on top, trying not to move my cardstock underneath. And I'm just going to use a brayer to make sure I ink up the background really well. I want to make sure I get the edges and in the middle. that's done pick it up and then I'm going to get that out of the way and I'll put my scrap paper over here again and I'm using sage marigold and cranberry these are our metallic embossing powders and they melt to a nice metallic glossy sheen. So I'm gonna open up all the embossing powders at once so they can work pretty quickly. And then what I'm going to do is randomly sprinkle all the colors of embossing powder throughout the background. Now this stamp was pretty open, so you wanna try to get where the ink is so you don't waste as much embossing powder. So I'll do my one color. Do the next. And you just wanna sprinkle it like randomly. Don't try to think about it too much. Okay, and then we'll go for the next color. I'm get, trying to go in the spaces that I don't have anything. Again, trying to put it where there's ink. Okay. Now, once I think I'm satisfied with what I have here, the next step is pretty important. What you do is you're gonna tap the back of the card so that the embossing powder will stick where it landed in the first place. And then, so you'll get a more concentrated area of color to begin with. And then once you do the tapping, you can go ahead and just take the other embossing powder off. And over here I didn't get so well, so let me see if I can go back and just put a little bit more powder over there. And let me try it again. Hopefully the ink is staying wet long enough where I could get these missed places. Okay, I think that looks good. And now, so what do you do with this powder that you have? It's like a confetti party over here. You take an empty jar and you can save it. And um, you can use this to do a variegated embossing, or you can 
maybe put it in texture paste and make a sandy grit paste out of it. It's up to you. Okay, so now let me get these out of the way and then we're gonna heat emboss this and show you how it turns out. And I do have a lot of stray powder here and I just wanna wipe that up before I melt it. Okay, now we're ready to heat it up. Okay, so let me bring this closer so you can see the metallic sheen. See how that is shiny like that? So beautiful. Okay, now we can put this together. Um, so I've, I've already like prepared my pieces. I'm making a top folding card and I'm going to glue this down. sure my butterflies are going in the right direction <laughs> and then I have my sentiment here I put um, some double-sided clear adhesive foam to attach this to give it a little bit of dimension and let's see go put it right here that looks good okay and as you can see I did the same painting with embossing powder on my butterfly card here and then you have your beautiful finish card and let me show you some more examples using some different embossing powders we did this here with our tinsel embossing powders love the sparkle and shine on that one And here it's a gradient of painting with embossing powders in the background. We use different colors of green and blue and then we mixed them up a little bit down here. Okay, and then here, this one is really fun. It's the mixture of the pinks and the blues Here, this one is a little more subtle. Um, we started like with gold and then used like the liquid platinum and then got some color down at the bottom here. I'll bring it up so that you could see it. And then here we have some purple and blues. These are using some of the metallic again and we just use part of this so you can get a two for one if you make a whole background of that so we hope you'll give this technique a try and for more embossing powder techniques please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching we'll see you next time